PyCharm 2024.3 comes with heaps of improvements to JetBrains AI to help you code faster. I'm going to walk you through just some of those improvements in this video. First up, super exciting, you can now work with natural language prompts directly in your editor. For example, we can enter a prompt such as write a script to capture a date input from a user and print it out prefixed by a message stating that their birthday is on that date and press tab. JetBrains AI Assistant will now generate some code for us, which we can review. Perhaps we want some error handling in our code. We can iterate on the initial input by clicking on the purple block in the gutter or by using command and backslash or control and backslash. And we'll say add error handling so that when a birthday is in the future, we don't accept it. We can keep going in this fashion. Let's add printing out the day of the week they were born as well as their birthday date. Again, with command and backslash or control and backslash and see what we get. I like it, it's nearly there. Let's add change the format of day dunder of dunder week to short. Now we can run it, enter a birthday, sadly not mine, and check that we like what we've created. This feature is available for Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, JSON, and YAML. We can use more detailed prompts too, such as write code that lists the latest polls, shows poll details, handles voting, updates votes, and displays poll results, ensuring only published polls are accessible. You can use natural language prompts to change existing code, such as adding edge case handling. Up until now, we've typed our natural language prompt at the gutter, but if you're working inside a method or a function, you need to give PyCharm a little bit more context and say, I'm writing a natural language prompt. You do that by prefixing your query with either a question mark or a dollar sign. Let's take a look. First, type your question mark or dollar sign, and then type your query as you normally would. Press tab and let PyCharm do the rest. You already know that JetBrains AI Assistant can generate code for you, but now you can run that code in the Python console without leaving the JetBrains AI tool window. For example, perhaps you've opened the AI chat and you've written a prompt to create a Python script that asks for a birthday date in standard format and converts it to print it back out in a written format, such as 22nd of January, 1991. Still not my birthday. You can now click the green run arrow on the top right hand of the code snippet to run it in your Python console. As well as natural language prompts and being able to run code directly in the JetBrains AI Assistant tool window, we've introduced even more features. First up, faster code completion. We've introduced a new model that we're using for faster cloud-based completion with our AI Assistant, and we're seeing some pretty impressive results. Sticking with speed, faster documentation creation. If documentation isn't your thing, you can now hand off writing your Python doc strings to JetBrains AI. If you enter a doc string with either a single or double quote and then press return, you'll see a prompt that says generate with AI Assistant. Click that and let JetBrains AI generate that documentation for you. Get help at the right time in the right place. We all need a little help now and again, and we can get JetBrains AI to help us here too we've added a slash docs prompt to the JetBrains AI tool window. This will query for documentation for PyCharm to save you jumping out of your current working context where you're busy solving problems. You can now choose your LLM. If you prefer to use a different model for your query, you can now change it really conveniently directly in the AI chat window itself. More context in your Jupyter Notebooks. You can now use the hash symbol to indicate context for your data frames and variables to get more accurate results from your queries. For example, here we can specify our data frame name as DF, as well as our minutes delay late aircraft variable and our airport name variable. Just prefix them with the hash sign. JetBrains AI Assistant is available inside PyCharm right when and where you need it. This release brings many improvements from working with natural language prompts inside your editor, being able to run Python code inside the JetBrains AI Assistant tool window, to generating documentation and getting faster results for code completion. Go ahead, try it out and see what you can do.